Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install uh, Journal, which is a program that I've developed that uh, is for um, basically browsing files like they're a journal, and you can, you know, edit them. And I'm going to show you how to install and set it up, and um, first you're going to go to where you downloaded the install zip file, and I've got a link to that right here, and uh, you'll have an install.zip and you'll open that in whatever your extracting program is then you'll extract the folder to really wherever you want to and I'm just going to extract it to my desktop alright there's the folder now you open the folder and you do not run setup.exe you run journal.application and we'll come up with this window Hit install and there you go, it's up. And uh, uh, here's how you're going to set it up uh, you can go ahead and close that application and you'll go to the folder you want to set up the um, journal in. And I'll just make a folder in my desktop for that. Now the way this program works is it browses through the files, um, but the files have to be numbered. So uh, what you're going to do is right click and create a new .rtf document. You can go to WordPad and do that, or you just right click and hit new and rich text document. That will come up. And uh, just put one.rtf and uh, you can open it up and edit it however you wish but you know it's there that's just the main thing you need to do alright so let's move to our journal folder copy that to my desktop and open that up now we'll hit folder we'll browse for our folder uh, here. And, um, yeah. Alright, so this is the first document. This is this. So, what we do if we close this and we open this, we'll write just the date here. Right. Content. 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 Alright. Alright. We'll save that. And it will have saved the folder that you selected. So if you delete the folder or remove it, uh, it won't work right. Alright. There you go. This is content, content, content. In the same font. Now, say you want to write another entry. You'll, you'll just delete this on the right. Let's say it will write dash 15. Say it's the next day. And write content, content, content. And then you'll hit save. And you'll look over here. There's two. And it's 4 15, content, content, content. And it just basically works in the same function. And now say I want to go back to 4 14. That's why you have these arrows, and that's why these are numbered. I'll hit back and see it's 14 now. Forward. Now, if you close it and you open the program back up, it will start on the first document. 1. Go next, it's 2. Now, if you want to open something that's, for say, not in the folder, you can only create something. Something that's for not not in the folder. Hit open. And 
we'll do a folder browser. Just go to your desktop or wherever you have it and uh, make sure why it's not listed, which will be test RTF. And there it is. Now, a, uh, something to note is, uh, is um, it's if you want to create, like, if you want to make a three, then you have to be make sure you're on the very last one. I mean, if you want to save. That way, so it saves as another one that's the next number. So, like, say I go back to one here, and if I hit save, it will overwrite two. And it's the same thing. See? Now if I go to the next, and erase that, and put three, hit save, go back, go back, go back. I'll go forward, forward, see? It's the third one. So there you go. That's how you install and set up um, Journal. And I'll put the link to my website where you can download Journal in the zip file. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll keep stuff coming. I know I haven't uploaded something in a while.